Hello everybody and welcome back to Sky Saga Alpha 6. This is it. This is the last episode of Sky Saga Alpha 6 because we are moving on. It is time to move over to Sky Saga Alpha 7 as of next week. So this episode I'm going to finish up as much of this as I possibly can. This week is a very big week for me so unfortunately I'm probably not going to get this anywhere near as finished as I would like to. But hopefully I will actually finally release this thing and you guys can come over and have a bit of a look at it. Anyway, one of the big things that has happened is if I have a look behind me, BAM! I have started working on this house. So, you may remember the house last time was a little bit weird and I had that kind of weird shape in it and I wanted to make it feel like you were growing or shrinking by walking in through the house and it came in and out of this place a lot of different times this week and it just didn't feel right ever. So, I've decided to scrap that idea completely and I'm just building the rabbit's house from the very start of the movie. So this house is actually kind of weird and I mean it does need a top on it yet but it's basically a bottom floor and then it kind of like mushrooms out to have a top floor on it. And I'm just trying to work out the exact dimensions of this thing because I kind of want and, and or need this little red striping to sit in underneath this bellow out but also at the same time I'm getting some weird things happening by having this bellow out be two blocks wide. So I'm probably gonna end up cutting this back and dropping it back down to one block wide. The other thing I've done as well, I've only done a little bit, is started putting down some decor items on the Mad Hatter's Tea Party over here, because I quite like that and I think that is quite cool. Anyway, I think I'm gonna keep going. I actually wanna add a few more games with you guys. I might even add a little bit of stuff on camera. We're gonna have an archery range out over here I don't think I'm going to get to the maze today, which means it probably won't be on camera, but hopefully I'll have a little bit of time to actually put a maze in here so you guys can come and have a bit of a run through that. And of course I have another game going in here, and I might even have time to get the chessboard set up. My only problem with the chessboard right now is I actually don't have all of the decor recipes that I need and or used last time I made a chessboard. So that may not end up happening, but we'll see. At least the board is there for the moment anyway. The other big thing that needs to happen very soon is this place needs a lot more trees. So I've only got a couple of trees in here so far, and the whole point is going to kind of be to obscure everything. So I want kind of like a wall of trees across through here, so you either have to go over here to Footstool, or you have to go over to the Mad Hatter's Tea Party, and once you've got to the Mad Hatter's Tea Party, I'm going to cut, actually I'm going to cut this now because it's been annoying me that I haven't done this. Cut a hole in through here, and you're going to go out this way to get to the rest of the game. So we're probably going to have a path go over this way towards the central area, and then have a few paths that split off here, there, and everywhere. Now the other thing I need to do is, this tree needs to have a whole bunch of arrows and signposts and things on it, because that's actually what happens in the movie. I, it's, once again, I've well, actually watched Alice in Wonderland a few times attempting to get some of the scenes right for this place because even though it's kind of only Alice in Wonderland inspired, there are still some things that I wanted to have the correct look, like the castle and the Mad Hatter's Tea Party and the rabbit's house as well. Anyway, I need to kind of get a bit more done on this rabbit's house and see what I can do with this thing. So this place is actually starting to get there. Have a look. The only thing I am now running out of is thatch. I just don't have pretty much any thatch at all, which means I can't really do the roof of this place. We're gonna have to go and run an adventure sometime soon and pick up some more thatch. I've also done a little bit of work over here, placed a few more bowls and stuff down, just to kind of make this look a little bit more tea party-like. Can't really do much more with it realistically because I don't have a teapot or anything that I can place down, but I'm thinking this is starting to look pretty good. So I'm just going to finish this place up by adding a tree and one area and then a tree out over the back here as well, just kind of small ones, and then we're going to hang some Christmas lights in here, and that is going to be about it for the Mad Hatter section. Now, Boomkin has literally just come through, yes I am recording kind of that late in the week, and has suggested, or at least changed my mind on a few things, so we're actually going to be building a sheep ball arena out here, and hopefully I'll get this done now, and we can have a couple of games of Sheep Ball towards the end of this alpha, as in next week sometime. We can have a couple of games of Sheep Ball, and just get you guys back into the swing of things before Alpha 7, where I definitely want to be doing that a lot more permanently as a thing, and doing kind of games 
every week or at least, you know, every couple of weeks, that type of thing. So yeah, that's kind of what we're going to go for next. Now, I've done a couple of sheep wall builds on camera, but it hasn't been for a little while. So I'm actually going to gather some materials together, some stuff that I want to build the stadium out of. And then we're going to go from there and build ourselves a sheep wall stadium. Okay, so here we go. I've got the base of the stadium down. So these things are 18 blocks wide by 26 blocks long. Now, that's what I've kind of got set up here. But what I'm talking about here is an actual internal measurement for the blocks. So that means that I've got 18 blocks along. So from this block here all the way over to this block here is 18, which means this one here is technically kind of out one further, which means the entire width of the stadium, including this small wall that I put in, is 20 blocks by 28 blocks. But that's kind of okay. It's just the internal area that I was talking about. And then to get these things done up, once you've actually found your corners and found out where everything is going, the first thing you want to do is build up the actual goals. So you go six out. So I've got one here, two, three, four, five, six, and then one up. And then you do the same on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and one up. And you should find that you've got a six block gap in the middle of your goals, just like I have. And then, yeah, you just need to run your walls all the way out. And you just need to have a one high wall all the way around the edge here. So I'm just going to quickly do that up. And as I've mentioned in a past build video for these, I mean, it has been a little while since I built a sheep ball stadium on camera. But this is just the basic layer. And this doesn't actually even cut it for a sheep ball stadium anymore because sheep remain or oh, keep their AI on when they get hit these days which means you actually need to have some form of sheep proofing around the edges and around everything else. So the next thing that you need to do is build up an exterior wall that is two blocks higher than this block. So we need to go all the way up to here. And this acts as our sheep protection and stops sheep from getting outside the sheep ball stadium. And the sheep ball stadium is almost there now. So as I said, needed to build this wall up too high. And then I've also built the goals back to blocks and I've added in this little bit here and I'll show you why in just a second. And then inside, I've changed all of the grass out for wood and stone. Now this was just a personal thing. I could have left the grass in here and it look, would have looked perfectly fine. But this is Alice in Wonderland and I wanted to chop and change things up a little bit. Now in the actual goals themselves, we have blue for the blue goal and then we have all of these spring traps here. Now these spring traps catapult the sheep up into the roof here and it just kind of sits here doing nothing. Which is why these steps are at the back. So when the sheep gets into here and hits the spring trap, it kind of bounces up and down past this hole and you can sit here and kick it back into the playing field. At least that's the whole aim of that section. Now, I did say this is almost complete. That's because we have a few spring traps missing over here. And not only that, but technically this should have a stadium attached to it as well. But I'm also completely out or almost completely out of this type of stone that I have. So the rest of the stadium might have to be made out of white or something else, maybe even red. I don't know. I'm not sure how well the green and the red would go together. But also, while I was kind of doing this, I got myself just a little bit carried away and went over and did the trees over by the Mad Hatter's Tea Party as well. So if you can have a look over here, bam, two trees, one at either end of this tea party, and then we have a nice little string of lights running along the top. Now, these lights, as we discovered in the last build, don't really give out a whole lot of light, but neither apparently do the brown candles in these guys. So this whole thing is actually kind of moody and a little bit dimly lit when it comes to nighttime, but I actually think it looks all right. I think it looks pretty damn good, in fact. So I'm going to leave that as it is. In fact, one of the later bits in this episode, I'm going to have to show you this place at nighttime because I think it is awesome looking. Anyway, so yeah, this place is pretty much done now. All it needs is a path off this way, out through here, and then we need to kind of wall off this area with trees. So there's going to be a few trees going across here, I've got some kingwood blocks that I'm going to use to build those trees up. I don't know what color leaves I want on them yet. I was thinking green, but I still haven't built the maze over there. And the whole plan for the maze was to have it made out of leaf blocks. But I don't know. We'll see how that all goes. 
The next thing I want to do, now that I've got that game in place, is I want to put archery in. So the archery is going in over here, and that will go in very soon. Then I've got a few more games up my sleeve as well that I'm going to try and put in around this place before the end of the episode too. I don't think the chessboard is going to happen as much as I love this chessboard and I love the dirty look of the chessboard. I just don't have all of the decor items that I need to get this place up and running. But anyway, I think I've rambled on long enough, so it's time for me to keep moving and keep working. I need to build up those last couple of spring traps and get a few other bits and pieces going. Get this pathway going and get a few more trees down ready for people to come into this place. So these trees are coming together really nicely. I'm thinking I might even put a short discolored tree in here and then we'll have another purple tree kind of right here and just kind of blocking off everywhere else. So yeah, the idea is to go through and put leaves on these things, so stuff like this gap is not going to be possible because there'll be leaves up through there, and also same with this one, be a few leaves around the place to stop you from getting in through there. But yeah, this is how this is looking, and of course I still need to go out and get some thatch for the top of this building, but I'm thinking these are actually looking pretty good. I, like I said, they need leaves on them to make them look a lot more like trees, because right now they do just look a little bit like a spindly set of wood blocks, but that's going pretty well, in fact. We're going to end up with a couple more white trees over here. Probably add a, a couple of grey trees and stuff in the mix. I'm not sure what this is. I think that's ash wood, which would make it a grey tree. So I actually might even build just a big grey tree in here to kind of section off these couple of areas. And then, yeah, we'll keep going with this. I'm really liking the way that these trees are turning out. I really do need to build some more mushrooms as well. I love these things. They look really great, especially with the smoke effects sitting up in the top of them like that. And, oh, yeah, the torch effects in underneath the leaf blocks just does some really cool stuff, especially with this kind of blue stone underneath the purple one here. But, yeah, I think we might even end up with some floating islands with some mushrooms on them and some targets on them as well going out over this way. And that's kind of where I'm going to end up for the archery range. But yeah, this build is starting to get a lot better and a lot more filled out and a lot more complete. And I'm loving it. So yeah, it's just going to be a matter of kind of keeping on going out through this way, building all of those decor trees. Well, I was going to say decor items. That's not the right word. But yeah, and finishing off some of the games and bits and pieces that I wanted to put in around here. Alright, so now the trees are in place, and if we actually come down here and start on the actual start point to this island, you can see that out through the window, the scenery has changed something dramatic, and if we come out here and have a look, bam, we've got a lot more trees in place. Now, this guy over here, I'm probably going to leave without leaves in actual fact, because he looks pretty good as just like a droopy tree without any leaves, but then of course, we've got three purple trees here with green, red, and orange leaves respectively, and then we've got this nice droopy purple and blue tree here. And all of this is completely designed so that you can't go from the starting position out into the main map without going through the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. So here we go, going in through the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. There's a big nice path all the way around the edge, and then the path goes all the way out over to here. I need to kind of either finish this path off or just let it be kind of more open from this point onwards. I'm thinking it's going to have to be more open because these guys took a lot more time than I thought they were going to to build, which means that I'm not going to be building too many more trees around this place, which was the plan. The plan was to kind of like fill this area with like a, a dense forest almost, and then only have the actual activities themselves be not foresty. So kind of like what we've done here with the Mad Hatter's Tea Party where there's a bit of a dense forest leading up to the Mad Hatter's Tea Party but then there's nothing really in around the Mad Hatter's Tea Party and then coming out here would be kind of more mushrooms and trees and stuff kind of forcing you in towards the middle a little bit. But like I said these trees are taking a very long time to build and I am very quickly running out of all of the type of blocks that I have to build different bits and pieces, which means we're probably not going to end up building a complete forest in here. Oh, and that was so close. Almost made it up on top. But like I said, I'll probably end up throwing a few more trees in and around the place. But I think the actual aim that I should be going for now is to get the archery range up and running and finish off the shoot ball stadium because I completely forgot to go and build the couple of spring traps I need to make this thing 
usable and ready to go. And then, yeah, that will probably be it for this island. I know I wanted to try and build a maze. Once again, I'm running out of all of the stuff that I would use to put inside the maze. And, yeah, I'm just kind of running out of time and running out of resources. And it's just, you know, the fact that Alpha 6 is ending and I did decide on a very big and very complicated build for the last couple of weeks. Admittedly, I am actually quite happy with how far we've got because this has only been two or almost three weeks work now and yeah one of those weeks which is this week hasn't been the greatest for me doing work or recording or anything like that so i'm pretty happy with how this has gone so far anyway it's time to put in the last couple of games try and finish some stuff up and get this pushed out this week's episode is probably a shorter one as you've probably seen from the length of this video but yeah that's literally just because i'm really only tidying this place up and getting ready to play a couple of games of Sheep Ball later on in this week. Speaking of which, there will be a tutorial out on Tuesday on how to play Sheep Ball, because it is basically the only thing I can do right now before Alpha 7 launches that isn't Alpha 7 related and is going to carry over correctly into Alpha 7. So yeah, that is going to be the tutorial for this week. So yeah, look forward to that one. Anyway, I'm going to keep going. We're probably going to end up running out and doing an adventure pretty soon so I can find some thatch to finish off the roof of this place. And then, yeah, we'll be very, very close to not completely finished, but having this thing in a usable position so that it can actually be used by you guys. You can come over here and have some fun and play some games. Okay, so here we are out in a world and we are hunting for thatch in this world. And I'm thinking that we might even see a little bit on the roof of this building. And no, we don't. Damn. Oh, well, these things happen. So we're actually out just running a common green right now, which is probably a little bit unfair, considering that we are in high, high tier armor. And one location over there that's not got any thatch in it. This location doesn't have any thatch in it. Hmm, we might even... Oh, here we go third location, and also no thatch, so we're actually out of luck with this adventure, which is a bit of a shame, but that's okay, we'll end up running another one, in fact, I'm probably even not going to be bothered finishing this one, because the things that I'm here for, I can't get here, so I might as well just move on and see if I can find thatch in another adventure. Alright, and round two, let's see if we can find some thatch here. Obviously weren't very successful last time, but we'll see what we can do this time round. Oh, and there's somebody else in this world. There you go. That's always nice to have some company. I might even say hello later. Oh, and there we go. We've got a village, and these things are flooded with thatch. That is awesome. That is going to be just, well, more than enough thatch. Definitely more than enough thatch to build up the stuff that I want to build up. So this is good. We are golden here. So I'm actually going to kind of probably just collect as much of that stuff as I possibly can. Let's get rid of that apple. Don't ever really need that. Don't, probably don't even really need the scout doublet thing as well. But oh well, we'll take that because we can. And oh, this might even be a couple of buildings. Yeah, because this looks like it's the Hunter's Lodge. Oh, cabin, there you go. And, oh, nothing for cutlery sigil. Perfect. I might even have this. Let's just double check that before we move on. Yep, already have it. Oh, well, not like it's going to be much use for me anyway. Oh, and there is loftwood around here. I might even basically just harvest out this entire building. So I don't think um, I have much loftwood left. And I have a few trees and stuff that I need to build out of it. So... It's probably a very, very good world for me to have stumbled into. Anyway, I think I'm going to harvest out some stuff here and just head straight home. I don't really think I want to run through the dungeon in this place because it is just a common world. And we've all kind of seen these dungeons before and done these things before. What I do want to check, though, is if there's actually something in the well. Because sometimes there will be something in the well. But no, it does not look like we have something in here this time. Sometimes you'll find... Just something in underneath here. Oh, and we've got company. We've got a couple of guys down here with us. That's interesting. I've never actually seen them willingly jump into water like that before. There you go. You can die as punishment for doing that. Oh, the other thing we've got around here is we've got some nice cyan wax. I might collect up some of that as well to get some really creative lighting going on. 
back at home. Uh, anyway, I should stop talking about what I'm collecting and just go ahead and do all of that stuff. I'm still might run through the dungeon. If I do, I will show you guys that on film. If not, I will just meet you guys back over on the Sheepball Island. So I ended up getting way more thatch than I actually needed. I ended up with almost three stacks worth of thatch. And as you can see, down here, I have almost finished the roof already and I have not used anywhere near as much thatch as I collected. I really only probably needed to knock down one building's worth of roof and that probably would have done that. But, oh well, these things happen. And obviously I've come straight back here from the adventure. I've still got some of the stuff from the adventure with me and I'm still in all of my forest armor, which is not kind of what I would usually do when I'm building. Usually I like to roam around in just the snowman's mask while I'm building because it's faster. You can run faster and also you can jump higher as well, which is always a nice thing when you're out building and doing stuff. So I almost finished this roof off now, so I might even just continue on through with this on camera. Because yeah, this is very, very close to being done, except for I keep making mistakes. This is a lot of the reason why I don't build all that much on camera is because when I do build on camera, I end up making a few bits and pieces of mistakes here and there, and it just kind of... I think it's because I'm attempting to talk and do stuff at the same time, and that's not always the easiest thing to do, to be perfectly honest. But we're almost there with this. And then the only thing we'll need to do after that is actually fill the front and back in with stone and a few other bits and pieces. I might even add some windows like I've done downstairs, just to give this just a little bit of extra depth to it. Just one thing I do want to do eventually is do a house building tutorial and one of the big tips that I'm going to give you guys is depth. Everything needs to have some form of depth in it. Now I am not going to be able to make it up these trees now. Hang on, let me just get around the back so we can have a look at this thing. Up and over. This is a good thing. I built these trees so that they go one way and not the other. And there you go. So this is the house. Now what I was talking about with depth is see how I brought the thatch out by one block out of here and also when I build this thing like I said I'm going to put some windows in it which is going to change the depth of the top here and it's going to mean that it's just not a flat wall and that is exactly what you want to avoid at all costs when you're building anything in Sky Saga attempt to avoid flat walls as much as you possibly can if you do have to have a really big flat wall or you've got like a castle or something like I've done out the back here make sure that you know you give it a flared lip at the edge or battlements or just do something to give a bit of visual appeal to it, I guess, is where I wanna, what I'm trying to say with all of this. Because if you can do something to it that gives it a little bit of visual appeal, you'll actually find that the whole build starts looking a lot better. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to do a tutorial about that at some point. It'll probably happen midway into Alpha 6 at this point, I think. Yeah, I'm going to turn the grid off and keep building this place up. And then we're going to go over and build some more targets and games and stuff on this island. Alright, so I'm really, really running out of time to record for today and for the rest of Alpha 6, I guess. So I have just rush decorated this place, so we've literally just added a few light sources and a few benches and stuff in here. There's nothing fancy, nothing really going on, because, I mean, realistically, the rest of this build wasn't even supposed to be here. It was just supposed to be the community games, and I have literally put more effort into everything else than I have into the community games, which is a little bit of an oversight on my part, but that's okay. This is how things are looking. So this is looking pretty good out here. I still haven't done up the archery course. That is going to be the next thing I do. There's just going to be some floating islands dotted out around here that are going to have archery targets on them, and that is going to be it. And then, of course, over here, I've actually added some signposts to this tree because that is what is in Alice in Wonderland. That's basically, she stops at a tree that's got lots of signposts on it, and the Cheshire Cat appears above her and then opens up the shortcut through to the Queen's Castle, just like this. So there you go. And of course, we've got the sheep wall over here, which I might even need to add a few torches and things to, but I'll probably end up doing that while my video is rendering and uploading and all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is it. This is the sheep wall island, almost done. I almost wish that I had like three more weeks to work on this thing because I'm sure I could get this place to look absolutely amazing, but as it currently stands, I literally have like half an hour more before I have to 
render this video and put it up because otherwise it's going to be going up much, much later into Saturday than I usually plan on getting these things out. But I did want to show this off to you at night time because as you can see there are some really, really cool effects going on with torches and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of these trees have torches embedded in them so that when you get close to them you get this kind of weird effects going where you kind of get light turning on and off as you move around the trees and stuff. As you can see here, that's really cool, I think. Anyway, like I said, I need to keep moving. I need to get the last little bit of this done so that I can finish up this recording and get this island out so that you guys can come over here and play some games because that is what this has been all about. And hopefully we actually have Alpha 6 for just enough time to get a few games of stuff going with some of you guys. Alright, and here we go. The archery range is actually now in. So the plan is, of course, you stand inside the little loop that I've created here and you manage to hit all of the targets. Now, I've only put five targets out so far, so this shouldn't be too bad. So that's one, two, three. Nope. <laughs> that's the thing. It is not too bad, but you do need to know what you're doing a little bit. So there you go. That's all five targets. And then this target will be the first one to respawn. There it is. Oh, only just actually made that in time. So yeah, that is it. That is the archery range done. That is this island done. And that is Alpha 6 pretty much done for me. So of course, as like I said, there will be a tutorial coming out on Tuesday done in Alpha 6, but there will be playable in Alpha 7 as well. And yeah, this place is done. Like I said, I really, really wish that I'd actually had a little bit more time and I could have put some more time into this build. But this is what happens when you have wipes. These things do eventually just kind of get wiped and you just end up moving on and doing something else. So, like I said, I'm going to be playing a few rounds of sheep ball with you guys. I'll put a post up on the forums in just a minute, kind of saying that this island is open and explaining the rules of all of the games that I've placed down. And then inviting you guys to come over and play some sheep ball with me because I'm really, really keen to play some sheep ball before the end of Alpha 6. But yeah, other than that, that is it. This is this island as done as it is going to be for Sky Saga Alpha 6. Like I said, I will be building another one of these over in Sky Saga Alpha 7 because I really want to get back into doing some community builds and doing stuff for the community and building up more sheep ball and all of that kind of stuff because it's a fun game and I really, really want people to be around and playing it and all of that kind of stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed Alpha 6 and I will see you next week in Alpha 7.